My name's Jim Merton. I'm one of the guides here at North Country Rivers. And we're going to be viewing um, the Dead River, 16 miles of continuous white water, the most continuous white water in New England. There's Grand Falls, 35 feet, the whole width of the river, spectacular. And we're really tucked away in uh, the northwestern part of Maine here, pure wilderness river. There you see uh, Spencer Stream coming in from the north, coming in from Spencer Lake. Uh, notice the color of the two rivers there. The Dead River high water release creates a lot of suspended sediment. And then with the bluer, clearer Spencer Stream to the right there. First rapid of the day that we're going to encounter is a class three, and it's called Spencer Rips. Fun little way to start the day. Some good splashes, nice white water, some good hydraulics. Short break, and then another section, uh, the second section of Spencer Rips. Again, some nice wave trains. We're going to ride through them, maybe spin our boat a few times, get people real comfortable with some class two, marginal three. We do a little bit of surfing where we actually get into a hydraulic where the water flows over the rock, curls back and actually gives you upstream force. And then we get in that with our rafts and we do a little surfing where the boat actually sits inside the hydraulic with that upstream current. Another short break up there and then we begin into the minefield. And it's a real fun run. Again, I like uh, river left there. I usually stay center to river left. Uh, I'll hit a lot of those waves with an angle get a good splash, do some spins, and then there's some nice little shoots in there on the side. We'll come off that river left, right back out into the middle, pop a few more of the like class three, three plus waves. Some very nice uh, holes out there, some great hydraulics, some good playing. And there's the big driftwood eddy there. We usually take a break after running the final section of the minefield. After a short break, we're gonna move downstream and then Hayden's Landing is going to be coming up. This is a solid class four, some big rock and rolling waves, nice wave trains, and big hydraulics. You're going to enjoy this run a lot. I'll enter it center and move a little left to center, popping that big hole at the top there. You'll pop that, you'll get a great hit, you're going to set up for the next train of waves, you're going to roll right through them. And we're looking at some good 8, 10, 12 foot waves with some seriously strong hydraulics. Big hit at the bottom of, the, of Hayden's. And then a pop there. And then we get to float here after a good run down Hayden's Landing. This river once at one time was chock full of logs. During the old log drives, right up till about 1976. From uh, April right through June, this river would be full of logs, but uh, starting in 1976, um, the state of Maine banned log drives on the Maine rivers and that's when rafting began. Also the water quality picked up considerably due to um, the termination of, of the log drives. Now we're going to be coming up to the Enchanted Rapid. It's a fun rapid, it's a class three. We start out about the center of the river up towards the stream there, move our way down and there's a real challenging chute river right. We call it Elephant Rock. And you can just see it coming to the screen there. You can sneak in that close to the shore there, the left part of your screen. Drop in there and with an aggressive crew you can paddle right back up into that calm eddy pool below the rock and get ready for some pretty spectacular surfing. Some of the best surfing I've ever done anywhere right there at Elephant Rock and our customers absolutely love it. After that surfing, we do a short break, and then as you can see, uh, another continuation of rapids there. There's so many rapids on this river that many of them actually don't have names. So we primarily named the, the significant class three, three plus, and four rapids. And as I said earlier, you know, the continuous white water on this river really keeps people paddling. And I would say it's from a standpoint of customer satisfaction, maybe one of the best trips that we offer at North Country. Mile Long Rapid is one of the premier rapids on this river, one of the best in New England. And it's a solid class four rapid. Very long, lots of surfing. There's a lot of stuff you can hit that's just fun. And by the time you get to the bottom though, it's the biggest hit of the rapid, which really makes it the premium hit. About the middle of your screen there is that final big hydraulic of mile long. One of my favorite rapids, and I think one of our customers' favorite rapids too, certainly considered one of the top two or three rapids on the river. 
Right after that, we got a nice rest, some class one. That's great. And here we're coming up to the final two rapids on the Dead River. And again, two of my favorites. This is Little Poplar. And this is awesome. This is class four. It's about three to 400 yards long. Start about in the middle, move your way left. And we have some big wave trains and serious hydraulics coming up. We're gonna get a very short break after Little Poplar. Catch your breath, because we got Big Poplar coming up right after that. Okay, here we come up on Big Poplar. We just had a short rest after Little Poplar. And again, class four action. We're gonna start center to left center of the river. We're gonna ride close to the left side, ride out some big waves and hydraulics, but watch out. There's some over there that you just can't go into. Unemployment Hole, named after a guy that used to work here at North Country. But the Unemployment Hole, we're gonna skirt it on the left side. We're gonna come down through another large wave train, ride down through there. And then there's a short break, but then it builds again. Just one of the best rapids I've ever run. You're gonna love this, and what a great way to cap off the day. We're pretty tired by this time, but you know, we're digging deep inside, working like a team. As we finish out the day here on the Dead River, I just wanted to recap with you that the flow today that we saw from this aerial tour was 5,500 CFS. That's cubic feet per second. We also have a 7,000 cubic feet per second that the river engineers give us in early May. And then uh, throughout the summer and late spring, we've also got 3,500 cubic feet per second and 2,400 cubic feet per second. 2,400 is a fantastic flow for families. 3,500 is good for just about anybody that likes surfing. 55 might be my favorite. And 7,000, well, watch out and hold on. That is some great action in the spring. Thanks a lot. I appreciate uh, you coming along for this aerial tour of the Dead River. And I hope to see you on the river soon.